78-year-old Bill Cosby is accused of drugging and sexually assaulting a woman more than a decade ago. But after dozens of allegations, tonight the comedian faces charges for the first time. As Leah Lynch had reports, local groups hope this news also helps women. Prosecutors are accusing him of drugging a former Temple University employee before sexually assaulting her. Here in Wisconsin, Madison's Rape Crisis Center is hoping today's news will have a big impact on women and men, too. For thousands reading the news today, the sexual assault charges against Bill Cosby is top of page. For maybe even more women, though, their own experience with assault is top of mind. It's an epidemic that we are not taking seriously as a society. Madison's Rape Crisis Center says only about one in 10 victims of sexual assault report it to police. What goes through my mind is that, oh, I'm sure people expect for us to be really excited. Hearing news of Cosby's charges, director Aaron Parisi first thought of that statistic. There were, you know, there are dozens and dozens of victims who are not going to get the closure that they need. Them. Rape Crisis Center helpline. That's what the center tries to provide, closure at any point in a victim's life. If this is something that you, that happened is when you were a child and you are in your 20s or it happened when you were in college and you're in your 60s, you still deserve to be able to talk with somebody about this. Parisi hopes more women are prompted to seek some type of help after hearing of Wednesday's charges filed. But more importantly, she hopes men will take note too. And this is something that we grow up with as women and and what really needs to change is that men need to, to understand that this is the way that women live and it's going to control and impact that woman's life potentially forever. Now reporting isn't the only option women have if they've been a victim of sexual assault. The Rape Crisis Center says if all they want is someone to talk to, there's always someone available on the 24-hour helpline. You can find that number and more information on the center on our website, channel3000.com. Certainly a lot of people talking about this. Yeah. All right, thank you, Leah. You're welcome.